Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. We're so thrilled to have on the three people joining me on the show today. This is a show that when you come to Nashville, you got to see it because it's the only one of its kind. I've got Chuck Wicks, country artist, so many of you know him, on the Opry TV show podcast. And then we've got Jacob and Merrick with us also. Guys, it's great to have you all on the show. Yeah, good to be here. Good to be here. You know, it's so funny, Chuck, when the guys first came in studio here to where, uh, you know, talking with Merrick and Jacob, it's like I'd already seen them in La Rev out in Las Vegas. Yes. Uh, so these guys are phenomenal. So what, you know, what we're talking about is I brought the show Shiners to Nashville, and there's never been a show like this ever right. in the city of Nashville. It's Cirque meets comedy. I have the best Cirque acts in the world. Yeah. Stole these guys from La Rev. If you've ever been to <laughs> Vegas and seen this show, the Cirque show La Rev, these guys were in it. it. They looked a little different. They were bald right. in La Rev. You had to shave your heads. So you, you look a lot better now, I think. I think so, too. Yeah. I think so. And especially, from, especially him. Well, and they're from Poland, too. too. So we have some, I, I say I stole them from Vegas, but really we have acts from all over the world. Right. Um, so these guys are from Poland. So they, Jacob doesn't like to uh, talk too much. I don't, I'm not sure why. We're trying to figure <laughs> it out. But uh, yeah, it's, it's been fun. We, we opened Shiners uh, four months ago, and it's right. just been off to the races. Well, and I got to talk about this show also, Chuck, because I think what's so innovative about it, I'm so pleased that you brought it here to Nashville and at the Woolworth Theater, mm -hmm. is that it's really an adult show yeah. to where you've got this incredible venue. You have actors and actresses. You have aerialists. You've got, you know, everything, yeah. acrobats, all within a show, and it's never been done here in Nashville, which is hard to believe. It is hard to believe. Well, I mean, you know, Nashville, as a lot of people know, it's, it's a, a must-see city now. It's a destination. Right. A lot of tourists are coming, and I just knew we needed something different. Like, we have Broadway. We have the Honky Tonks. We have, we're a sports town. We have the Grand yes. Ole Opry, the Ryman. We have great restaurants, but we mm -hmm. don't have this. And um, when I put the show together with Nappy Tabs, which is a famous choreography group and um, directors, they do a lot of the big specials on Disney and oh, yeah. Grammys, and they just did the Golden Globes. Uh, they do a lot of Cirque shows. So teamed up with them um, to write this show. Mm -hmm. The show's about a family of moonshiners. So you, t you, know, you take the family oath, you take a sip, you're part of the family, you can see the rest of the secrets of the shine. And that's what allows you to be basically a part of our extended family, right. watch this chaos uh, come undone on stage. But at the same time, we have a positive message of, of love and, and mm -hmm. accepting everyone. And, and, a, and you get to see all this, these amazing acts, which I think we're gonna get these guys Right. We're going to actually show things. examples, you know, of them doing their thing because, you know, very fit. Obviously, they looked at me and already said, Eric, you're not qualified for this. So I will not be in a, involved in an example. Is that no, right, that's how, that's how we said. You said you're from <laughs> Vegas and you might be hired. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, and, and we were talking about this, too, Merrick, to where, you know, you guys, you know, stay so physically fit to do these kind of things. And I mean, once again, you know, from us all living out in Vegas, you know, it's not something that you easily go into. There's a lot of preparation, a lot of practice, and, and being, you know, strong of body and of mind to do this, right? Correct. Uh, I mean, you might think of it as, you know, the show is only, you know, an hour long, right? Uh, and your act might be a couple minutes long, mm -hmm. but, you know, to stay on top of your game, it's a full-time job. Right. So you have to, you have to do those workouts uh, pretty much every day sometimes 10, 10 times a week, sometimes 12, 12 times a week. Right. So definitely there's a lot going on. Well, and you and I and, and Jacob were talking also to where it's like you guys like it better here in Nashville as well. You know, more of a, you know, normal atmosphere than we had all been in at one time. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Moving here from, uh, from Vegas, it's, uh, it's definitely an experience. And coming to Broadway for the first time, uh, I was almost shocked, like, hey, how come no one ever thought about having a show in here? Right. You know, so uh, that's why we were like, yeah, we have to, you know, we have to do this. We have to try to bring a show Vegas style to Nashville. That, that was the amazing thing to me to see is, you know, when we did the casting out in Vegas to try to find all the Cirque acts, right. um, they're from all over the world and they have families. Right. And it's, they've left all, you know, well, you know, Jacob's wife is in the show. Yeah, Ironically, like when they were doing the casting, um, I did not know they were married. They were very smart about it. <laughs> and, then I ended up, and then I ended up seeing them, they, they moved to Nashville, they start, and they're like making out backstage. I'm like, <laughs> like what's, what's, what is happening here? Yeah. They're like, oh, we're married. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting to watch them and see them. They, they left their families to come out here right. to do this show because they believed in it so much. Because mm -hmm. um, this is, 
brand new, you yeah. know, and um, now as we're seeing the success happen, we've added a fourth show now uh, per week. So we have two shows on Saturdays. Every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have shows, but two, on, two now on Saturdays. And now that we're having success, um, we've re-upped their contracts, and now they're moving their families out. Wow. So. Well, and I wanted to bring this up for our viewers also, Chuck, to where some people may not understand, and obviously we do, to where this is a residency. Yeah. So meaning that it is not like a, a short-term thing, you know, like a show that only lasts a month or so or whatever. It's like, you know, as you guys, you know, with, with Shiners keep selling yeah. out, this will continue and yeah. continue to expand. I mean, and just like the nights have expanded, mm -hmm. you know, to get to see these great shows and see these, you know, people at work. Well, the perfect example is is a Vegas style residency. Mm -hmm. Like if you, um, you know, Larev, that was on for what, 10, 15, 15 years. 15 <clears throat> years. Um, there's, there's shows that have been 30 years. So it's just, as long as people keep showing up. Right. Um, and we're just getting started. Hopefully we're here for 10, 15, 20 years. I think it's incredible, especially to the level of people you're bringing in to do this to mm -hmm. where it's, you know, it's, it's not, you know, and nothing against locals and everything, but you know, you kind of have a higher level of talent for something for a show like this, Chuck. Yeah, now we definitely have um, locals that are in the show. Mm -hmm. um, we just knew that there was a bigger pool to choose from, from the Cirque world, right. um, from Vegas. We have a girl na named or Laura Osnes, who's a two-time Tony-nominated Broadway star, you wow. know, and she moved here last year. She moved to Nashville mm -hmm. last year from New York. I mean, she was the original Cinderella in Broadway. She was in Bonnie and Clyde. Like, yeah. she's spectacular. And now she's a, a local. Um, we have some other locals that are, I'm in the show. That counts. Right? It does. Counts. Well, and also, kind of the Cinderella, the Cinderella thing kind of matches one of your hit songs. Yeah. How'd you like that for a Stealing segue? Cinderella, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I just did a show last night. My voice is kind of going out. I was up to like 1 o'clock in the morning singing. So I'm, it's, you know, all the, everything's coming and the synergy is. I don't know how to explain it, but the synergy has been really good. How incredible. And I've got to bring this up also. I've got you here, Chuck, because we haven't seen each other in a while. To where, besides Shiners, which yeah. is doing incredible, in residency, expanding nights, you've also got your TV show, yeah. Road Stories, on Circle Network, yeah. second season. Yeah, we made it to season two. That's good. Um, <laughs> they like season one. Yeah. So there we go. We're doing it. That's a good problem. I should have, I should have the uh, Polish duo over here do it. Hey, what yeah. is your official name, by the way? Is there a name that you guys have? Uh, we go by Duo Alter, but okay. it, I think we use Mark and Jacob more often. Yeah, that's how I know you guys. <laughs> but back to uh, Road Stories, it's an, it's an animated show. Right. We have the biggest stars in country music and yeah. outside of country music. Which are all your friends anyway. It's yeah. Like, it's like when you're hanging out, you know, after the show at Shiners, it's like who you're hanging out with anyway. It's, a, it's the best way to do an interview. When you know somebody, it, it kind of like, it knocks down the barriers and knocks down the walls. You get right. the real stories. And that's what Road Stories is all about. It's is very that, entertaining. Thank because you, you kind of get the stories behind the scenes. Yes, but the, but the difference is, is it's animated. So as they're telling the story, the animator makes the story come to life. Right. So it's really cool. Yeah, it's great visuals. And I'll tell you, I, our viewers definitely need to check that out and tune in and see you there. i got to bring up your podcast also. Yes, why not? Uh, love Country Talk to Chuck. Again, the biggest country stars. And outside of that, so the whole premise of that podcast, it's with uh, iHeart. And Bobby Bones, I don't yeah, know if you know. Totally. So we teamed up and, and uh, put this podcast out. It's doing really well, and listeners are great out there. So thank you for listening. Um, it's it's fun. It's just if you love country music, you can be on the show. Yeah. You can call in. You could be an actress, a, a a normal person. My neighbor, my mom calls in. <laughs> when I can't find a guest, my mom's just like, "Are you doing okay, Chuck? You want me to be a guest?" That is so awesome, and she's so proud of you. She's very proud of me. Well, and I got to ask you too, the important question here, obviously with iHeart, because you know, I did a show with iHeart for a while. So when you go and park there, like when you go to the studio, can you park in Bobby Bones parking space? Because you know, as part of his contract, yeah. there is the Bobby Bones parking space. I try to every time I pull in. <laughs> yeah. And he's never really there that much. So no. I just, you know, it's like yeah. Nashville, LA, Nashville, LA. Yeah, you know. Well, I, then uh, the third question then, of course, Chuck, having you on the show and uh, with your great, you know, music and everything else and, and with your label, new music coming out this year? New music probably in the fall. Ooh. Yeah. Believe it or not, I always tell my, my friend, believe it or not, I still have a record deal here. I signed my first record deal in 2007. Wow. Maybe six. And then I'm on my third one now. Right. Welcome to Nashville. Yeah, but also, uh, you know, I got to bring this up. You are a success story, too, Chuck. I mean, coming from, you know, the thriving musical metropolis that is Smyrna, Delaware. Yes. <laughs> to Nashville. Yeah. You've done pretty well. I, I, you know, I 
Thank you. I, I look back and, you know, success is different to everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, happiness is, to me, if you're happy, you're successful. Right. So whatever level that means, you know, if you're, you know, if you're Jason Aldean way up here or you're, you know, somebody in the middle or maybe you're Chuck Wicks way down here. <laughs> um, it's as long as you're happy and I'm happy. I have a, I have a beautiful wife and, and kids and yeah. my little boy Tucker who's two and, you know, three stepdaughters. So I'm, I'm just... Uh, I'm a happy guy. I'm, I'm, my passion project is the Woolworth Theater and right. Shiners. Right. Everything around that is, is bonus and um, it's fun. Well, and I think the great thing too, you know, with Shiners and certainly having talent like these gentlemen is that it, you're making it a new destination. You know, we were talking before we came in studio to where Nashville has become such a destination place, but you know, people are looking for something different, yes. you know, and I think, you know, they want that level of entertainment like you have in Las Vegas and New York and building what you have here with Shiners. Yes. You know, and, and plus being able to have a nice little venue for the pre-party or after party after you've enjoyed this kind of talent. Well, the best thing about the, the theater is that you're so close. Right. Um, the theater is 300 seats. To see these guys do what they do as close as you are, mm-hmm. of courtside seat basically, is it's really unheard of. It's, it's very hard to find that. Right. Um, and they're world renowned. I mean, this is truly, I, mean, I know you guys are sitting right here, world renowned talent. Totally. Um, the, the entire cast is. So it's fun to see it in that setting. It's, you know, adult humor. It's laid back. It's easygoing. You know, we don't take anything too seriously. We have fun. But at the same time, we put on a great show and tell a great story. Well, and as the shows keep expanding, which obviously they're selling out, then Merrick was mentioning to me also that you guys are going to be adding in the full water thing, probably as a kiddie pool to start with. So well, yeah. it's going to be similar to kind of like La Rev, although the jumping height might be shorter. A little bit, slightly yeah. shorter. Everybody watching home, look up La Rev and see the big <laughs> pool of water. Well, in our little 300-seat theater, the Woolworth Theater, we may go kiddie pool. Just... I mean. but, but also, you know, I, I want to talk about this too, Chuck, to where with a 300-seat theater, you're not going to get a bad seat in the house for Shiners. No. And, and to see this level of talent with, with the actors and actresses, singers, aerialists, acrobats, everything, to be that close is kind of unheard of. It's a very interactive show. Um, it's, we, and, and I hear they've got a great country music guy that also is part of the there's show. There's a great host. <laughs> His name is me. Um, no, there's a so great, no expense was spared. No, no, I'm the cheapest one on the whole cast. I don't, I'm waiting to see. Did my they paycheck. renew your contract also as you were renewing everybody else's? I think I didn't even sign a contract. I just showed up. I'm like, who's gonna do this? I guess I'll do it. But how awesome it's, to be a part of that. Yeah, that's cool. My wife is, you know, it's at some point in time I'll probably jump off the show. Um, and, and just take the owner seat yeah. uh, and watch and just and be proud. But right now, I'm, I love being on the show so much. I told these guys, I'm like, I'm going to be in the show for maybe like, what, the first six weeks? Then it turned into the first three months. I'm like, I'm, going, I'm riding the whole year out with you guys. And that's how much the cast is, means to me right. and how fun the show is. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't having fun doing it, I wouldn't show up. Because totally. I truly, you know, I, I leave my family every Thursday, Friday, Saturday night mm-hmm. to do this. And to see the audience respond right. the way they have been, and then they go home and they tell their friends, and then they come back. Because after the show, we walk through and we see everybody, and we hear the stories. We're like, oh, my friend told me to see this, or I saw you in the airport, or I saw the billboard, mm-hmm. or I saw the commercial, whatever it is. Um, so we know it's working, and that's, mm-hmm. that's the best reward, is oh, to yeah. Absolutely. put so much hard work into what we're doing and to have it be accepted. Right. Well, you know, and that's the thing too. I mean, these, you know, with, with Merrick and Jacob, they are visual artists and you're a creative guy as well. So it's just another outlet for your creativity mm-hmm. with Shiners. Can I just say, because he talks so much about us being so great, um, Chuck is, has been doing so great as a host. I think if here doesn't work for him, he absolutely has a job as a host in any show in Vegas, uh, oh, 100%. Okay. So you want, you're going to stay here and you want me to move to Vegas? That's not what okay. I said. <laughs> but hey, that's on the table for yeah. you. But what a great compliment. Yeah. You know, because I mean, you, you obviously as a country music artist and, and are still appearing on the opera and everything, it's not like you needed something else to do, Chuck. I'm, I, my hands are full for sure. I still don't know how he does it. <laughs> like all of it. I'm like, I'm, you can't tell right now, but I'm actually sleeping. <laughs> 
but not when Shiners is going on. No, no. No sleeping then. <laughs> it's on. Well, I want to make sure for our viewers, too, uh, you know, that they know where to go for the website to get the tickets, which is an mm -hmm. awesome website. Thanks. Social media. you you got to see Merrick and Jacob and also Chuck in the show. Where should they go to book their tickets early? Super easy. ShinersNashville.com. Um, all the ticketing info is there. We have a VIP experience. There's all kinds of options. Um, we have a great, we haven't talked about this, but we have a great chef. So if you want to get there early and, you know, get some food before or after, the drinks are amazing, but we have a great chef as well. So um, shinersnational.com, we'll have you taken care of. And some great merch too, because obviously the gentleman, you know, wearing the Woolworth Theater shirts. I'm so I got to bring one for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to come see the show. It's just a done deal. But it's like, I'm so glad that you guys have extended the residency. It's going to go on. You've got more nights. And yeah. uh, what, a, what a great experience for everyone here in Nashville and for tourists coming in. But I think the locals, we're all looking for something neat to go to. Got to go. Got to check it out. Bring your family. Bring your friends when they come into town to visit. Um, you guys have to come out, of course. Um, and then also, you know, the Woolworth Theater. Shiners is the cornerstone to Woolworth Theater as the show, right? But the, the venue is, is beautiful by itself. Right. So we do a lot of private corporate events, parties. We do CD release parties. We do, um, last night we did a show, uh, an acoustic in the round, traditional that you would see in Nashville right. style uh, acoustic show, so songwriter show. Um, so we do it all. And a lot of this money is going to be actually funneled into getting the kiddie pool to add the water yes. that you're going to see down the road. So be on the watch for that, right? Yeah, so we're going to have to raise the ticket prices for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> our Target's got a great sale right now. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, you know, you want to make sure, you know, go to the website, follow them on social media. These guys are amazing, you know, uh, from the shows they've done in Las Vegas and obviously here at Shiner's. Chuck Wicks is, uh, is the MC heading this up between doing his TV show, his podcast, new music coming out. Oh, and he's on the Opry sometimes, too. Sometimes. In his spare time. And sometimes it's family season. Sometimes. Actually. <laughs> Not a lot. Yeah. But if you want to see him, come and uh, go to the show, Shiners. Get your tickets. I think you're going to love it as much as I do. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Oh, there he is. All right. <laughs> there he is. <laughs>